Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This woman is beautifully singing a cover of Beyonce's song, Irreplaceable. What two words is she saying between you and bed? If you're watching this with another person or your classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. She said, cause you made your bed, now lay in it. This is based on a saying in English, you made your bed, now lie in it, which means you need to accept the consequences of something you've done. When spoken together in connected speech, the two words made and your can sound like major, which means a type of military officer, and so can be confusing to English language learners. Why do the sounds change like this? It's due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence which happens when two separate sounds merge to form a new, different sound. Sometimes a final D sound in a word and an initial Y sound in the following word combine to make a J sound at the boundary. So instead of made, your, you hear major. Please note, this type of coalescence can also happen inside just one word, like when the D and the U combine to make a J sound in educate. However, since our focus is on connected speech, we're only looking at where this happens when the end of one word meets the beginning of the following word. If you don't understand the symbols I'm using to represent sounds in this video, please see the link in the information box below to the interactive phonemic chart. Here are a few more examples. Number one, cold jeer, cold jeer. Number two, mind your own business. Mind your own business. Number three, do you know why? Do you know why? A couple of notes. On number two, the phrase mind your own business is another English saying that means respect people's privacy. It's a request. And number three, you might have noticed that the first word doesn't end in a D, it ends in an OO sound, do. But the reason why coalescence happens here is because the word do in connected speech often gets reduced to just a D sound. So 
in connected speech, do you ends up just sounding like do. To help you hear this type of coalescence, I'm going to say 10 phrases. Please write what I say. If you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10. So again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line will tell you the number of words in the phrase. Here we go. Number one, she said Jess. She said Jess. Number two, they loved you. They loved you. Number three, did you go? Did you go? Number four, would you mind? Would you mind? Number five, we enjoyed your show. We enjoyed your show. Number six, do you know her? Do you know her? Number seven, they called your mom. They called your mom. Number eight, could you help me? Could you help me? Number nine, how'd you feel? How'd you feel? Number 10, he moved your things. He moved your things. So again, if you're watching with another person or your classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. If you need to, rewind and replay any sections. Here are the answers. For some people, pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help them to hear it. So I'm going to say each phrase twice. Please listen and repeat. The most important thing is to try to make the j sound at the word boundaries. Here we go. Number one, she said Jess. She said Jess. Number two, they loved you. They loved you. Number three, did you go? Did you go? Number four, would you mind? Would you mind? 
Number five, we enjoyed your show. We enjoyed your show. Number six, do you know her? Do you know her? Number seven, they called your mom. They called your mom. Number eight, could you help me? Could you help me? Number nine, how'd you feel? How'd you feel? Number 10, he moved your things. He moved your things. To review, sometimes a final d sound in a word and an initial y sound in the following word fuse to a j sound due to a feature of connected speech called coalescence. A final example is, how'd you know that? How'd you know that? Now it's your turn. Think of another example of a j sound at the boundary of two words, the first with a final d and the second with an initial y, and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of j coalescence with a final d sound followed by an initial y sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.